What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. Uh, <laughs> I oh, where am I going? Am I supposed to go home? Go out from here? Am I supposed to go here? Oh shit! I heard. I heard. What the? Is that his mother? Sound like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's book? <laughs> Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. The voice come from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. All right, so the clinic. Oh shit! This is fucking creepy. As ugh. Could she be in one of these rooms? Hello. No. Okay. Fluffy's mother, where are you? I guess the only place left is the fucking basement. I mean, why should would she be there? Oh, the door is open. The door is open. No, do, have we been to this room before? I don't think so. I do not think so. Fuck, go in. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, David. Go in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had the press. <laughs> Whoa, who's that over there? I don't know. It's a shadow. Ghost. Hey, who are you? Who the fuck is that? She looks creepy as fuck. M m m wait. What? Mom? Davy? Why do you aban- Why do you- Why do you abandon me? That- That's not- Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandon me. No! You're sick, Mom. So- So you left me. My own family. Can't stand me anymore. No, you're wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It, it, uh, it hurts, David. David, I, uh, just like it did that. Uh, uh. What the fuck? Are you going to try to kill me again? Again? I don't... I don't know right now. I don't know what's going on. It hurts so much. Davy. <coughs> yes. Exactly how I feel. Alright then, or oh, 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 that was not good for my ears. Ah, <laughs> who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me. Mom, please stop. You keep saying these things like that. You, you kept saying things like that. Dad just went out, okay? Did you forget? forget. Shut up, intruder. <laughs> I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Do you think I know you? Get out of here. Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny! Not funny! Please, mom. Quiet! I'm not your mother. I don't know you! Get out! Enough. Uh, uh. 
What the fuck? M murderer. Somebody murderer. Murderer. Yo, David. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Hi, stop. Let go. You're trying to kill her. David. So, um, is it like a flashback or something? I don't fucking know. Guess it is. It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting much pressure on her brain. So he tried to fucking kill her. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain illness. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in the family can uncover an illness. Okay. Maybe I should show them slightest, but this kind of things happen all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We hospitalize her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decisions. Hopefully, it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. So that was a flood. No? No? We're not family anymore. Don't... Don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped just like that, I would have... You would have... I would never have been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my own family. My only family. My precious family who cared for me after my father left. And yet I... My wishes never came come true. My dreams, love, and even family all, all go uh, up uh, Avery. I can't have anything that's not crooked. We, what have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. No, it's not. There was only one way from the very beginning. What? Okay. I mean, it's... What? Alright, let's continue, I guess. Maybe... He is the crooked man all along. Himself. Oh, we're here! Damn it! David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to? And where? Paul? What do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over all the wounds. I was always scared, scared for him. I was scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get it, his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now that it. I. It wasn't a bad idea, I doubt, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Well, it sure fucking was. I mean, obviously, huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. I'm always talking about how you see things, and... <gasps> David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. 
are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there. So wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David. Hey, David. Damn it. It take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Mario, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend too. Can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. On my motorcycle. <laughs> Come on. David's car, he's gotta still be here. Yep. Come on, Marion, it's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Let's fucking go then. We're looking for David, we're looking for David. We're looking for David, we're looking for David. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Is there anything up here? I mean... Whoa! Who's there? What are you doing here? There. <laughs> Who's that? A, a girl? Hey! What are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? It's... Wait! Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Is that s no? It can't. Can it be Sissy? From you remember from the hotel? Hey, what the heck are you? What is this? What's this about? Go see him. Well, I'm fuck it on my way. Man, the hell is that? Right, let's fucking. Uh, Wait. Where am I supposed to go? Huh? Someone else? David? Hey! Who are you? It's Day! <laughs> Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on ya. Right, day. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Alright, let's fucking continue then. Alright, let's try the roof. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Oh, it's fluffy. D don't tell me a kid's wandering here. Huh. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He, brought, he bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. K kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a little cropped house. Hey, you listening to me? Obviously not. Then he had a cropped tot. Why is crookedness my lot? Wait, what the fuck is this? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the cropped man would cry. And he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. sighed. <clears throat> and so he... What? David's waiting for you! Go see him! Hey! Alright. What was with him? 
Where did he know David? Did he meet him? Well, yeah, I think so. Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Where's my mo <laughs> Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you chasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? What's up with her? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Yes, who do you keep talking to? Oh, she can see them. She can see them. Huh? Stop trying to spoke me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No yokes. What the fuck? Huh? So that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. Spooky music. All right. <laughs> Please come back quickly. Right. All right. Just wait for me. David. I'm looking for David and I'm all alone. And I'm singing my song and I'm looking for David and I'm all alone. So fluffy in a tongue. Wait, no. I think it's on the roof. Let's save it. Oh, yes. Yes. David, what are you doing out there? Open door. <laughs>